Okay guys, sorry it's been a couple of days since I posted anything, but you know, I got a little bit of footage from yesterday when I was on my way to work, uh, but here's the thing, today was a good day, just busy, man this, this week's going to be busy, I had to go out of town yesterday and today, uh, and then I'm going out of town again on Friday. So probably not going to post anything Friday night. Uh, maybe tomorrow night if I get anything that I think you guys might want to see. Tonight is all about a shameless plug for my wife. She just started her channel and she's got her very first video uploaded. Anyway, um, if you got any wives that want to get back at you for watching fishing videos, send her to that one. It's all about Avon, makeup, everything that... Uh, we try to avoid, at least openly. Anyway, um, check it out. Uh, I am going to still try and go fishing this weekend. God willing. Uh, it's going to be bank fishing. And uh, it's going to be with bait, more than likely. I'll probably use uh, some jigs or something. But I'm not going anywhere spectacular. But hopefully I can put a few fish on the video for you. And uh, give you something worth watching. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's one of those days. But anyway, uh, so don't forget, check it out. It's uh, Avon with Lynn uh, for your wives. Or if you want to check it out, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. I use a couple of things. They have a real good uh, shaving soap that I use right before I shave. It makes it real a lot, a lot easier to, to shave. And uh, I use some of the colognes. And I like some of the colognes a lot. We'll probably go over it and uh, if there's anything that, that I think you guys would probably dig I'll shoot a link over to you so that you can check it out there's some bug guard and stuff like that that you can get I, I did use the bug guard last year and it worked okay it's nothing like uh, the deed that we used to use but you can't get that anymore unless you're special <laughs> either way it goes you, it, this stuff is pretty good and it's got sunscreen in it but pretty much all of it has that nowadays but ours was pretty good and it didn't really smell so you don't get stuck with that stink you know anyway uh, I'm going to let you go check it out have a good evening and uh, I will post this and let you go and I don't, I'm going to keep this rolling and then I'm going to edit it out here in a minute you know because what the heck Wait a minute, hold on a second. <laughs> Plug your video. Hi, I'm Lynn. I have my video on. Avon went by the Oh, God, that's enough. Anyway, that's her plug, her shameless plug. You know what? I was going to edit this. I'm being the Queen of Sheba right now. Yeah. I, I was going to edit this out, but I think this is too good. I'm going to leave it in. And just. And then I'm going to post this on her channel <laughs> and uh, get her back because. She keeps trying to put pink on everything that I own. Oh my God. If you guys have any wives that are like that, let me know. Because if you do, we're going to start a revolution, man. A revolution of browns and grays and blacks. We're going to get it out there. We're going to get guys smelly, oily. Just like Tim Allen used to say. Ooh, yeah. Home improvement, right? <laughs> Male improvement. Well, not so much. We're pretty good just the way we are, right? Stinky, fishy smelling guys. Anyway, this is the clean one and the pretty one. This is me. I don't care. Anyway, good night, guys. Have a good one. A small addition to the video tonight. I have a small rant. I am a big believer, and when I build my systems, I've been using ASUS boards now for, I don't know, 15 years. And I love them because they're real easy to set up. And for the most part, every time I have used AMD, they have lasted. My last system is 11 years old. It's running Windows 10. It runs pretty much any graphics that I can do out there. Now, mind you, it, uh, most of them are low to medium uh, resolution now. But, hey, you know, for an 11-year-old system, you can't hardly beat that. Nothing has gone wrong with that system. It's still kicking. I just built this one last year. And I don't know if it's the cable or if it's actually the USB 2.0 port that goes to the case. 
that's on the board, one of the two went out because my USB 2.0 is gone. Fried, died. And I mean, it was started giving me some fits every now and then. And even the 3.0 is kind of getting fidgety. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be with the board somewhere. But it's my first Intel build in a long time. I was really excited about it. And I got the KB Lake uh, CPU, the i5, the, the unclocked or the clockable version. Uh, it was the highest i5 you can get. I got some really kick butt Corsair RAM and uh, uh, let's see what was it uh, Raiden uh, it's a Saf actually a Sapphire Raiden uh, 480 video card but uh, the thing was top notch it does great on graphics it's a little bit slower than uh, you know Nvidia but it didn't cost me Nvidia prices you know what I'm saying uh, everything else is working great my drives are working great, but I think that board is starting to develop some problems. Now, you can get buggy things with anything in technology, and I understand that. But it just irritates me that the first stupid Intel build I do in 15 years, and the board's already starting to show signs of going out. So, me and Newegg are about, or me and Asus are about to have a come to Jesus meeting, and uh, we're going to discuss this because. It's not even a year old. It really isn't. I mean, I built it, I think, March of last year. It's getting close to a year, but it's not even a year old. And it's starting to do that. And, I mean, for me, I'm kind of like, yeah, it's an excuse to build a Ryzen system now. But, uh, you know, I'm happy with this system. I loved it. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful board. I didn't get no, I didn't skimp on the motherboard. The motherboard is an Asus uh, Republic of Gamers Hero 9. And at the time, it was like uh, the third highest that you could get. I didn't really care for the Strix board, and I wanted to go next level on this build because I wanted it to last a long time. Here it is, not even a year, and I may have to replace the stupid board. So anyway, keep that in mind when you're ordering. Now, of course, Ryzen is already, you know... I was hoping it's a year down the road since they released their first Ryzen chips. So I'm hoping they worked out a lot of those issues because to be honest with you, I didn't build Ryzen last year because it was new. And really, unless you've got just a ton of money and you're in that business, wait. Wait a year for them to work out whatever issues they're going to have. Because no matter what it is, any new technology that hits the market, you can Take it to the bank. Every single one of them is going to have issues for at least the first six months to a year. And they'll be releasing updates and patches. And then they'll run a new cycle of chips through that will already have them implemented in it. And you won't have to worry about it. I don't know what it is. The re Another reason why I went with Intel this time is because for some reason, when they release the boards for the new AMDs, uh... They just weren't as good as the Intel boards. The Intel boards were a lot better. Uh, they packed a lot more features in them for the price. Uh, the Ryzen boards are just as high, maybe a little bit less, depending on what you get. And all their chips use pretty much the same socket. Now, if you if you don't build systems, you're probably not going to understand what I'm talking about. But uh, this was really it's really frustrating to have to do this and I really hope to God that it's just a port issue or maybe a, a cable but since the 3.0 ports are doing the same thing which is a separate cable altogether and a separate plug I'm really beginning to think it's the board uh, so I'm gonna try and test that out I'll let you know as it goes so if that comes down to it I may have to shut down for a few days while I get the new system up and running but I will video video this one good so that you guys can get an idea of what I do. But uh, that just goes to show you, if you do buy stuff, build your computer or buy a computer, be prepared. Because there's no telling when issues are going to develop. Anyway, just wanted to rant a little bit because it's something that ate my sack lunch today. <laughs> so I thought I'd add it in on the video. Talk to you later.